Welcome back to Cradle to Grave R. I am Mark Gingrass, and I'm going to teach you today how to use the relocate deplier function. It's very simple, and I didn't actually get this idea out of my head. I was browsing through the Reddit R stats, which if you haven't been there before, you should definitely check it out. I'll show you where I found this question from a user. So it's under the Reddit R stats, which is an awesome resource for helping you with your R and especially with statistics, right? So this particular user had a question about moving um, passenger ID to the left of survived. Now how he got it to the right of survived, I don't know, because I think, I think naturally when you first download the data source, it's actually the other way around. I'll show you that in a moment, but you know, it seems like something very simple to do. And surprisingly, sometimes in R, you know, you, you could do some Googling and, and it takes you like two hours to figure out how to fix something that simple, right? So luckily for us, there's been some good users and, and the community has jumped in and gave the answer, right? There's multiple answers. Now, I'm not going to walk you through all of these answers, but the first one that really caught my eye was the relocate function that Deplier has. And so they're basically saying, here's how you do it. It's pretty simple. And I'm going to walk you through how to use that relocate function based on my R stats Reddit resource. So thanks to everybody on R stats for always chiming in and bringing up these awesome little features and functions. But I want to show it to you in a program right now. So let's just jump right to it. If you have, um, if you haven't heard of the Titanic, you probably need to get out from under your rock. But so there's a package called Titanic. So just type in Titanic under your install and just do uh, Titanic here. We're going to install that data set. So install packages, Titanic. I already have it installed, so I'm going to cancel out. But then you can just load that library, Titanic, right? So let's just go ahead and zoom in on that. We can do library Titanic. And once you do that, You'll, uh, you won't get anything, but you can set up a data, a data frame or a tibble to the Titanic data set. So let's just do that. Let's just say um, my data is equal to, and then we'll use scoping. So we'll do Titanic, Titanic, colon, colon. And you can see I have a few different things here. I have a test set and a train set, which will, this will come in super handy uh, when we're actually doing some testing and some training, which I really hope we get to soon. I, I've been slacking. But let's just go ahead and use the test set. And I'm just going to hit the uh, control enter on that. You'll see on the right hand side, I have my data is equal to 418 observations of 11 variables. So, so there's 11 features or variables and 418 observations. Now, as you can see up here, hopefully you can see it. It's passenger ID, P class, then name. So we're just going to do a quick example of how to move name to the left of passenger ID first. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me uh, close that out. And all we're going to do is use the deplier function. So again, if you don't have deplier, click on install and then just type in D-P-L-Y-R, deplier, like a pair of pliers, something you can manipulate stuff with, right? Install that. Once you've done that, let's just load that library as well. and. There we have it. Now you have to make sure it's version 10.0 or greater or 1.0, 1.0, I'm sorry, 1.0. You can do that by, if you already have it installed, you can actually just type in package version with uh, I guess camel case, and then in quotes you can type in deplier and you should get version 1.0.0. If you don't have 1.0.0, it's probably not gonna work because I don't think the relocate function was uh, added until 1.0.0. That's based on my Reddit. I just recently read the uh, Reddit comments and that's what I got from that. So simple as that, let's just go ahead and relocate. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna say my data is equal to a relocated data set. So relocate, what are you gonna bring in? Your data. So I'm gonna bring in my data and I wanna relocate, I wanna relocate um, name to the left of passenger ID. It's kind of the opposite of what this person wanted, but since our name is to the right of it, again, I'll show you real quick. So it's called name, and I want to bring it to the left of passenger ID. I want to bring it before passenger ID. So going back, we would just say, I want to bring in my variable called passenger ID. And I want to do dot, don't forget there's a little period there, dot before is equal to, and, oh, I'm sorry, passenger ID. Passenger ID. In, oh, no quotes, I'm sorry. Don't need the quotes, but this is supposed to be name right here. So I wanna bring name 
before passenger ID. So let's do that. Command enter. It looks like uh, passenger ID doesn't exist. It's because I have a capital D there. So let's go ahead and make that a lowercase. Boom. So now we go back to my data and we see the name is to the left of passenger ID. See, that was like a very simple way to do it, right? There's multiple ways you can use the relocate functions, but that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to use um, the after. You can use, there's an after instead of a before. So if you wanna move something after, for example, let's say I wanna move sex after age. So simple, it's the same concept. So we're just gonna copy, well, we're just gonna say my data is equal to relocate my data and we want sex to go dot after equals age and we should be able to run that and now we should have sex to the right of age which we do now one other thing since we're here I'm gonna show you how to do it the tidyverse way so to speak so what we want to do is we want to say my data we're gonna let's bring back um, passenger ID to the right of name. Oh, let's go, let's put the name to the right of passenger ID again, but this time we're gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna say, take my data and pipe it, command, uh, do control shift M, which will give you this pipe operator. I'm gonna pipe it into the relocate function, and once you do that, that my data, which has to be a lowercase m, so you guys need to catch me on these things, my data is actually gonna be the first input to this parameter. You don't actually have to put it there, but that's what the piping operator is doing essentially. So my second input is, I wanna put the um, passenger ID, I guess, I don't know, what, what do we have right now? I'm a little bit lost. So let's just put name to the right of passenger ID. Back to where it was, right? So we're gonna say, I wanna put name after dot after equals after equals passenger ID. Command enter on that. So that's the tidy way. You kind of have to get used to that notation, but we have the name now back to where it was. So um, what you usually do for uh, aesthetics is you usually, after every pipe operator, you would hit the enter key and you'd have more space for it. Because normally you'd want to be piping this into all kinds of stuff. So we could pipe this into uh, the view so when we run it, we can actually, now I've already switched them, so it's not gonna do anything, but it does automatically open up the view for you. But that's what the pipe and operator does. I know we've talked about it before in previous tutorials, but, um, but as you can see, not only did I pipe it in there, now my data is empty. See how I screwed this up? Um, I hope that you guys might have caught that because what I've done was I've actually set this piped into view, right? I piped it into the view, and then that entire object, which doesn't even make sense, is stored as my data. So that doesn't make sense. So I can't store it that way, but I can view it before I store it, and that, that would make more sense. So let me run this over again, these lines, right? So now I can view it and say, oh yeah, that's correct. And once that's correct, then I can say, oh, I don't wanna view it anymore. I know it's correct, we don't need to pipe it in there, but I do have to store it somewhere. I wanna overwrite maybe my own data frame or tibble, whatever you wanna call it at this point. I think it's probably a tibble, but uh, one way to figure that out, remember, let's just jump back in, more, more stuff. One way to figure that out, we can do um, structure of my data, and it's gonna tell us straight up what it is. So if I scroll up a tad to the top, you will see that it's a data frame, so it's not a tibble, but that's the idea. I just wanted to show you that real quick. So that was a very quick and simple way to move data around a little bit. There's plenty of other ways to do this, but um, I wanted to show you that particular method because it was referred to in the R Stats Reddit uh, subreddit. So that's where I post a lot of videos and I do appreciate them allowing me to post my videos on their subreddit because it is very popular. So hashtag R Stats on a lot of the stats stuff you do on Twitter and then find that subreddit and you'll usually find me posting probably once every week or two on there. So don't forget, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.